Drivers will use a number of different ways to deliver the deodorizer to the to the holding tank. One of the ways is, is putting it in directly into a, a five gallon pail, loading it with water, and dumping it into the holding tank itself. So let me just demonstrate for you going into a a bucket that's already been loaded with five gallons of water. That way you can see how it disperses. And what I'll demonstrate for you is is the, the one, two, three count in each one of these buckets, okay? So let me start with a one count. This is what you would use for a special event, wintertime applications. One, stop. For moderate temperatures, for moderate traffic, let's say it's springtime or fall and you've got moderate to heavy traffic, a two count. One, Two, stop. For summertime, you have extreme heat, you've got the heaviest traffic, you're definitely gonna wanna go to a three count. One, two, three, stop. And that's it, as simple as that. One bottle, every application. Once again, you'll notice that the, the nozzle is clean as a whistle. Let me show you another method. Some people like to put their solution in or their deodorizer in and then fill up with the water. And what that does is that helps to activate it to, to, to mix up the product in the holding tank. That's usually the most common way. Same delivery, I'll do a three count into this empty bucket. One, two, Three, stop. Now I'm gonna fill it with water. And there you have it. That holding tank is basically mixed. So no matter the count, you can see that the color coverage is significant. 